Hey guys, Shab here. Today I will be building arguably the strongest gaming PC on the market. I will be going over each component and why I chose it and then show some benchmarks as well. So this is my first personal PC build. I have previously made some builds for friends and family but this is my first personal one. So let's go. Starting with the CPU, we have the Ryzen 7 7800X 3D. Choosing this was simple. It is priced very well and is the fastest gaming processor currently on the market. I was thinking about going for the Ryzen 9 X3D CPUs, but I was mentally not prepared for the task scheduling problems and headaches. For the motherboard, I chose the MSI MPGX 670E Carbon Wi-Fi. The main reason I chose this one over the X670E Tomahawk is honestly because of aesthetics. It just looked better for me. If you want to save some money, go for the Tomahawk. Now, why MSI and not ASUS? First, there were only a few X670E motherboards available here in Hong Kong. And well, ASUS customer support is questionable and I just don't like AS Rock. I'm sure they are good, I just never tried them. Lastly, why a X670E motherboard? Well, a B650 motherboard would have been perfectly fine. I wanted to slightly future-proof the motherboard for its PCIe 5 capabilities. Moving on the GPU, well, the RTX 4090 is not the dollar per FPS card. It sure is the strongest one available. And going uh, for MSI Supreme cause it is currently one of the best 4090s available and looks amazing. Reason to choose this was nothing but wanting basically the best. The RAM is DDR5 AMD Expo, supported uh, Corsair RAM, it uh, can clock at 6000MHz and looks good and is quite decently priced. And it has RGB. Storage, I went for a 2TB Samsung 990 Pro and a 2TB Samsung TM9A1. If you can find the 990 Pro for a good price, it is one of the best M.2 SSDs in my opinion. The 7800X3D is quite hot due to the Vcache and that is why I decided to go for an AIO. I'm sure air cooling would have been fine but have spent this much, why not just go for an AIO as well. And now the Kraken L8 360 I bought is not the best AIO for the price. It is insanely costly but it looks damn good with that LCD screen. Now to house all these components I went for the NZXT 86 Flow RGB. There are cases such as the 87 Flow which are slightly better in cooling but the main reason going for this is because of the dual chamber design. I honestly suck at cable management and the dual chamber design allows me to almost neglect cable management. Plus I like the fish tank aesthetic and this is one of the best priced cases on the market. I also bought two 140mm fans and a 120mm fan also from NZXT to match the case and the AIO fans. Lastly, to power this beast, I went for a 1200PSU, a bit overkill I know. It's the NZXT C1200 Gold and it's a great 8 year PSU. Also, it was the cheapest 1200PSU I could find in Hong Kong. Now, time for a build montage and then I'll show you some benchmarks. 